Is that a... <laughs> yeah, hey man, I'm shooting a video. I can't really talk right now. Oh yeah? Okay, yeah, well, I'm kind of busy, but... Whoa, okay. All right, we'll do it. We'll let everybody know. So what's up, guys? Model 3 pricing just went up, and we got some more updates for you guys right after the intro. Yes, yeah. Why do these haters all in love with my Tesla? Play with my Tesla. Yes, yeah. Why do these haters all in love with my Tesla? Love with my Tesla. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some nice information. Five things about Tesla's upcoming product line and accessories. A bunch of new stuff hit in the news last night while everybody was sleeping. Tesla did some updates. This is always what happens. They're sneaky. They are. To kick this off, uh, number one is going to be the Model 3 gray wheels. A lot of people like the black design. I think this is definitely going to push sales for the quarter. They're expecting to do over 100,000 sales this quarter. And I think that slight change might be enough to kick it, kick it way over that. Uh, probably at least 105,000 deliveries. A lot of people um, are anticipating these black wheels. They want to get it aftermarket and stuff like that. Tesla doesn't really do many big changes, so anything small is actually considered big, so this may be enough. Now, to be clear, these wheels, they're only the same 20-inch wheels that were previously on the performance car, except they've just been powder-coated. It looks like metallic silver. Precisely. So expect these wheels to come to a delivery center or a showroom near you, so you might be actually be able to look at it before you go out and pick one up. Number two, the order deposit. The order deposit is not 2,500 fully refundable anymore. It's a $100 non-refundable deposit. So yes, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot easier, um, but you're not gonna be able to get your, your money back. Um, this might be about the same as 2,500 refundable deposit, but it's very interesting to see that. Now, we're not too sure why Tesla made this $100 order deposit non-refundable. Um, it looks like they've had a lot of orders in the past that because it's so easy to place the 2500 and take it back, uh, maybe they want more of a commitment from people. We had seen them previously with a $100 fully refundable order deposit on their energy side of things, uh, but now that has also become non-refundable. So maybe they were seeing better results with a smaller amount and they wanted to try that out with vehicles as well. And number three is coming in at a two, the Model 3 has been updated to a 250 mile range. So that is 10 miles more than the previous 240. Might not seem like a big deal, but it's always nice to see Tesla squeak out a little bit more range out of their vehicles just through software updates. More efficient, more efficient use of the battery, uh, more efficient use of the HVAC and the powertrain. So always good to see those things coming to the Model 3. The next thing we want to talk about is Model Y has been seen in the wild, in the flesh with some new rim design, which is pretty interesting to see. These might be the base model rim design um, and there might be some aero hubcaps over it, but also we, we don't entirely know because it hasn't been officially launched yet. But ex we definitely can not expect to see it as soon as Q1 of next year in only a few months which is very interesting. If there's any car that's to, to be delivered early, it's definitely gonna be the Model Y because it shares about 75% of the Model 3's parts. So it's much easier to bring, uh, bring it to production than any other car that Tesla has done before. The actual expected delivery times of the first Model Y is expected in fall. And Elon Musk says that they wanted to do it earlier we actually might see that happening, at least for a lot of the reservation holders. So if you wanted to pick up your Model Y, we'll probably leave a link in the description below. All right, so last thing we wanna talk about today is the pickup truck. Now everybody wants to know about the pickup truck. If there has ever been a more hyped event, I sure don't know about it because the amount of people that walk into showrooms and search the pickup truck has now exceeded the Ford F-150 which is just an insane stat that's been kind of floating around the web. But people are just out of their seat for this one. I think there is a new rendering that's gonna basically be very similar to what the truck looks like. It does kind of make sense. We're probably gonna show it. And the rendering, it kind of looks like a 
uh, some pieces taken from the semi truck into like a Tesla pickup truck and it might be very close uh, to what Tesla is going to do again we don't know anything officially but um, it's nice to see all of these renderings of what it could be and we might even see we're definitely going to be looking out till next month's launch uh, next month's announcement of the pickup truck and we should be seeing exactly what it's going to look like and we might even hear more model y information on that date that date is to be determined we still don't have a precise date but when we do we'll let you guys know now one thing that's really interesting about the truck which nobody has really mentioned is you know tesla they like to be efficient so like when they built the model y it shares 75 percent same parts with the model 3. it would be really interesting if this truck being that it's going to have this Blade Runner-esque look, which you could argue that the semi-truck has, uh, it would be really interesting to see if Tesla was going to share some of those same parts with the semi-truck. Extremely interesting. And that would help Tesla get to production much faster. As you know, the semi-truck has been delayed. So this would kind of make sense for the company and would help improve production, would help improve stock. And we definitely see the stock going up um, a lot over the next couple of months, especially with all of these products going out and all of these highly anticipated models about to be launched. So if you have any other questions, if you have any questions on date, if you feel like you, you know some, something about the Model Y or even about the Roadster, definitely ask us in the comment or comment about that in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and do us all a favor, press that, that red button down there that says subscribe. Definitely help support the channel and we'll see you guys next time. Want to do Model Y? Oh, it's more Model Y. No, no, well, we'll edit it out edit, and, gotcha. and switch it out. So I think that's why I didn't interrupt, but. Yeah, yeah, you're okay.